So hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial on Wake Up. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a very, very, very interesting stuff. Well, in Weka, the in regular releases by University of Waikato, the regular version of Weka, it has an option called cross-validation with number of folds to be chosen. For example, one, one cannot be chosen there, can be two, can be three, can be four, up to ten, or twenty-nine, whatever you say, anything greater than one will be okay there. What does it mean? In order to do that, I need to go to the Explorer. So on Explorer, I'm going to open a file, any random R file for this tutorial. So that's my random R file. It has been chosen. Now I go to the Classify tab. I select any algorithm, for example, Naive Base. And you can see that the t in test options, you have a cross-validation sub-option. And you have something to put here as false. So 10 is default there, but you can put 1 and click Start to get this error message called problem evaluating classifier number of folds must be greater than one. What does it mean? Well, if you have your fold equal to one, then it means that you are actually trying to evaluate, evaluate the entire data set. There is no concept of k fold cross validation here. Okay, so we click OK and we select two. What it means is Weka is going to partition your data set into two parts. One part will be used as training data and the other part will be used as test data. In other words, you're having 50% of your data as your training data and 50% of your data as your test data. So what happens if we put three there? This means that your data set will be partitioned into three equal size partitions. And it also means that you are having 66% of your data as your training data where 33 percent of the data as your test data finally with 10 folds this means that you are utilizing 90 percent of your data in your data set as your training data and 10 percent of them will be used as test data but what happens when the situation is like this that you are trying to have 10 percent of your data as your training data and 90% of your data as your test data. That is not possible with Weka, with at least this release of Weka from University of Waikato. They don't have this concept of inverse k-fold cross-validation. Okay, so what do we do? How are, how are we going to achieve an inverse k-fold cross-validation where I have extracted the jar files? And you know that I have to cl click on the collective classification jar. So as I open that, this version of Weka, then after opening that, I'm clicking on the Explorer button and I'm opening the same file. So I go back to my drive where I'm having my R files for this tutorial selected, right. Now I go back to classify tab. I'm choosing a random classifier. The best one so far is naive base because it's easy to find. And you can see that we are having in the test options a sub option called cross validation and it's set to default 10. So if we want to do an inverse tenfold cross validation, we just need to put an, an, I, an I before 10. That's it. What it means is Weka is partitioning your data set into 10 equal sized folds and 10 percent of those data will be used as training data but 90 percent of the data will be used as as your test data so that's completely opposite of this okay so now to demonstrate i'm having 10 fold cross validation i'm starting the classification task and i see that well, uh, the F measure is 79.5%. Okay, now I'm changing the situation here. I'm, com I'm, I'm inversing my setup here by putting an I. This means that previously you had 90% of my data as, your tra as, my, as training data and 10% of the data as test data. Now it's going to be the opposite. 10% training, 90% test. And I click on start. 
So when it is done, you can see that we are having a different set of results where my F measure is 79.6, where previously it was 79.5. They are close, but still there are some differences in the values of precision recall and F measure and so on. So have fun guys because this concept is very important because it's not always the case you're going to have a tenfold cross validation sometimes it is required to use inverse tenfold cross, cross validation in general inverse k-fold cross validation i hope that helps and thank you for watching i'll be right back with more tutorials thank you